St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, and bars are prepping taps and glasses for the crowds. U News' Jerry Tell shares what bar owners expect on St. Patty's Day. It's a day of tradition, shamrocks, and alcohol. Nationwide, it is one of the biggest party days of the year. Everybody's Irish for the day, and bar workers have more than one reason to love the color green. For St. Patty's Day, we usually go through you know, two or three kegs of green beer and a couple cases of Guinness. Bars in Vermilion, like Leo's and Carey's, are getting ready for St. Patrick's Day, a day that usually brings out one of the biggest crowds of the year. Nationwide, it is the biggest day of the year for bars. However, here in Vermilion, it generally ranks behind D-Days, graduation, and Halloween. It's a tradition that is rooted in alcohol and gets bigger by the pint. We have two full bars going and uh, we have six bartenders on, so everyone's quite busy and there's not much room to move in here, yeah. St. Patrick's Day honors the patron saint of Ireland who died on March 17th, 461. Celtic tradition historically honors her dead by drinking a lot of alcohol. Put these two together and you get a modern day St. Patrick's Day. This year's crowd may be a little bit bigger due to the first day of March Madness landing on the same day. Also add people that go out that night and aren't regulars to the bar scene and that adds to the celebration. But as in any case, where alcohol is a part of the celebration, trouble might follow. Farmers want everyone to be safe this St. Patrick's Day and want people to take extra precautions about their safety and practice safe drinking habits. Eat a big meal and drink a lot of water before you come out if, if, you, if you want to drink a lot. For you News, I'm Jared Tell.